Hey, welcome to Tech Love Jump. In this tutorial, we will be learning about why should we use GCM in our own Android application and how GCM works. And in the next video, we will also be implementing Google Cloud messaging using the latest method that that is using Google Play Services library in our own application to receive text from server. Now, why should we use GCM in our application? Mm, if we want our application to run all the time on device so that our application remains connected to our server in order to retrieve important data then it's definitely going to drain the battery and uh, as our application is running all the time on device it's draining the battery and user might uninstall your application so what to do i ah, use google google cloud messaging be a smart developer now how google cloud messaging works how gcm works suppose that user install our application and uh, whenever user run our application for the first time they get registered with gcm server we receive a regist registration id of the device and we can send that reg registration id to back to our server now our server is having the registration id of the device suppose 100 users are using my application i am having all the registration id of 100 users and uh, gcm server is also having the registration id of those users now if i have a message like i want to uh, send to all the users that pizza is available at half price how can i do that i can send a message using curl it's a command line language in that message i can include all the all the recipients Uh, which will be receiving the message and we can in, uh, we can create an array of registration id and we can also uh, we, uh, and in the uh, body part of message we can send uh, we can include our text message whatever we want to send to our android device uh, now uh, we can send our message to gcm server so gcm server is having our message its task is to deliver that message to android device and as our as our all uh, as all android devices are registered with google so gcm can easily send the message to the device now how android device receive that message you know uh, whenever gcm sends a message to android device android operating system receives the message and it creates a system wide broadcast announcement which means that an event has occurred in the device now suppose uh, suppose in in my phone there is there is an event like battery is low so all uh, so an event will be triggered which will say that battery is low so whichever application wants to do something if battery is low then they can do that task and uh, in our gcm uh, our our android application uh, in our gcm we have received a message from the server and we want to process that message so for that we implement a broadcast receiver in our own android application so that we can listen to that broadcast that some message has arrived from gcm server if we want to receive that receive that and process that message so in in this way we can receive the message from gcm server and we can process that message so it was all about gcm and uh, uh, if you want to see the implementation you can watch more videos thank you for watching